In July 2010, during the Soccer World Cup held in South Africa, two representatives of PETA came thousands of kilometers to present a pro-animal demonstration in collaboration with local organizations, among them Fur Free South Africa. Their goal? To bring their cause to the attention of the world media gathered in Johannesburg. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals Asia is an affiliate of PETA US, the world's largest animal rights organization. Um, we strive to fight animal cruelty in the areas where animals suffer the most for the longest periods of time. So that's in experimentation, in the fashion industry, so for fur and leather, for entertainment, and being raised for their flesh. Well, today we have 32 people painted with the flags of those taking part in the World Cup. And the idea is to draw attention to the suffering of animals around the world. Uh, cruelty to animals in the fur industry is a worldwide problem. Uh, everywhere from, from South Korea to the United States and everywhere in between. So hopefully today it'll get people thinking. It's a fun, sort of lighthearted way to talk about a serious message and to get people thinking. And hopefully people will want to learn more, know more. They'll, they'll go to our website, PETA.org, uh, to, to try to see what this is all about. And maybe they'll end up watching a fur video and seeing uh, raccoon dogs being ripped from their cages and being swung upside down and having their heads bashed into the ground, being skinned alive. They'll, they'll see the realities of the fur industry. The, the fun of the event will hopefully trigger them seeing the realities of, of what happens on the For the demonstration, Jason and Ashley chose a day for which no soccer matches were scheduled, and the media would therefore be on the prowl for other interesting material to feed their news-hungry audiences back home. Yeah. The bait they used? Come to our demonstration and we will show you 32 near-naked people painted like the flags of your countries. And so, on a bitingly cold day in the northern suburbs of Johannesburg, these people, young, old, slim and not so slim, are shedding their clothes for a cause they feel passionate about. They are preparing to speak to the thousands of animals kept in filthy, cramped cages and killed horrendously to satisfy human kindness. <laughs> <laughs> How long did that take to do? Which one? That whole no, no, no. Oh, no, well, this took four hours and this took. Like, I've been doing animal rights stuff since I was nine. So, so you're not new to this? No. And uh, uh, painting extravagant. This, this is new. This is new, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad we're finally doing something in South Africa. Yes. Finally. So I've partaken in anything they do. If they want me to bungee jump, I'll do that as well. <laughs> hey, but we don't know it's Varimar Antrakni. What is your slot? Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Can you spare them? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to block out here. We're going to take this away. Yeah, huh? this has to be wide. Okay. So let's from here. Down there. Oh, okay. She's sitting there. And yeah, but now you actually see us <laughs> Well, it's to bring awareness to the cruelty of animals, especially when it comes to fur. So we're doing this and we bring all the countries together to raise an awareness to all these countries about what's going on. You know, get everybody's attention and they're going to be aware of it and they're going to change their lifestyles and hopefully the animals will be rescued and they can be aware of the issue. Millions of cats, dogs and other fur animals worldwide spend their lives in horrendous conditions and are subjected to violent handling and inhumane transport before being clubbed, strangled or electrocuted to death and often even skinned alive for their fur. Fur animals trapped in steel jaw traps spend days bleeding to death and often gnaw off their own limbs in an effort to free themselves. This fur is being used on jacket trim, shoes, toys or sewn into complete garments. Part of animals with shelters and stuff but um, when I first started, I was with Facebook, started looking at the groups and that on Facebook. And um, then I started from there, just going, signing pe uh, petitions and then joining protests wherever I could. It's just, I've watched videos and I've actually seen what they do to those poor animals and it's just not right. Somebody has to be the voice. So, that's Thank us. Thank you. Um, yes, you can take it. Where are you in case I need to touch something up? Because I just broke my arm. 
Taz, my friend Taz brought me along and I think that it's a real good thing that we're trying to save the animals and the whole thing was fine. It's a real good campaign. Extremely, extremely. I've got a, a very beautiful pit bull baby and <laughs> she's the love of my life and I'd absolutely die if anything happened to her. Okay. Been working on like Looking good, eh? I became vegan a year ago, which is really when the whole activism thing started because I was vegetarian before that. And after I became vegan, I, I really started realizing the effects that people are having on the lives of animals in all sorts of industries. After, I'm, I'm quite a big Nine Inch Nails fan, and after I saw the videos where he spoke about the fur farming in, in China and stuff like that, it, it really struck me for the first time what's really happening. It's one of those things that you don't think about, but when you see what's happening you know you, you kind of can't go back to just ignoring it you can't go back to thinking that it's okay I work, I've been working at Bart for a long time Bart Smith is with the rest of us so he's busy finishing his... we really hate what people are doing to animals and um, we want to do whatever we can to stop them and if you know, this is what it takes, and, and if this is all we can do for now, then this is what we'll do. I think this is quite a lot to do. Um, you know, if I had the money, I'd be in China on the farm, you know, letting the animals go myself. <laughs> cause. Yeah, I want to do something for the animals, just to, to show that we're anti -fur. Yeah. Rights. That's yeah, terrible. We, what they do. Terrible. We don't stop looking at animal rights um, as as beings, as beings with feelings, as beings with with flesh, blood, muscle that we keep basically torturing, keeping them in, in conditions that are not even. Not even, we can't talk about human, being humane or inhumane. We are talking about deplorable. We're talking about her, horrific circumstances. And, and, and unless human beings start looking inside themselves and understanding how they can actually carry on living with the way we are exploiting animals and think we'll ever reach any sort of consciousness, that for me is the time when we will start addressing the way we eat animals, the way, what we put animals through as far as clothing and what we put animals through particularly with regards to fashion and quite frankly Gucci, D&G, the whole lot of them are, are, are deplorable brands, absolutely deplorable brands should be boycotted and uh, start looking at people who produce items of clothing that um, are cruelty free. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can just see all these South Koreans attacking me. <laughs> just how love it. Oh, can you imagine the cruelty? Asian oh, flavor. I don't know the uh, cruelty that goes into the fur industry. I think if you have a look, um, the fact that they skin animals alive and the absolute horrible torture that the animals go through, this is the least that we can do for them and for the 50 billion animals that are killed every year for human consumption and it's not necessary, you can live without eating animals. Oh my god, I feel like I'm completely naked. Well, you Okay. The, um, like coffee oh, sellers okay. and things they need. Um, you can help us because cool. we need um, to do. I'm here because I don't like this idea of these jaw traps that um, that clamp on on on, uh, on the limbs of animals and they keep them for days and days starving and suffering before somebody comes and clubs them to death. That's particularly cruel. I also don't like the idea of this fur farm. And then they're kept in little cages, okay, and then fed up, and then they get killed them by electrocution or other cruel okay. methods just for the sake of the fur. Do you not believe the way animals being handled by all those characters who are misusing and abusing and torturing animals? Um, actually, I'm going to start studying again 
probably the end of the month I'll <laughs> start studying law. So I keep doing this <laughs> without eating. Yeah. Um, I think that's. I think that is probably the biggest trouble for animals. Is it doesn't affect most people, and you need people to, to not think about themselves at all and go out there and do something. With this one. Yeah. Can we take two? Yeah. We've had passionate about this. <laughs> Participants are gathering in readiness to leave for the venue. The much awaited moment has arrived. Call back to South Africa. Can you move South Africa up here? <laughs> the excitement of the moment is taking hold. The Crusaders know that their cause is a just one, and around the corner, the world's media await them. media activity is sending images of these activists and their anti-cruelty message across the globe. The warriors are returning, satisfied with a remarkable day's work well done. An hour later, news begins to filter in of reports of the demonstration having appeared in newspapers in Brazil and France. By the next day, the message, say no to fur, has gone to most of the 32 countries remaining in the Soccer World Cup. Today, the activists have spoken loudly for the voiceless. Fur Free South Africa is committed to the complete abolition of the fur trade worldwide. And until that can be achieved, we are working toward ensuring the humane treatment of all fur animals. When PETA requested that we collaborate with them on staging an anti-fur event in South Africa during the Soccer World Cup, we were thrilled and we jumped at the opportunity. And I think, looking back, we are well satisfied. Not only have we learned a lot from it, but through the international media gathered here, we have been able to reach millions across the globe with a message that the fur trade is one of the cruelest in the world. 
So perhaps we should sum this day up in the words, fur hurts, walk away from it.